George W. Bush in his 2004 State of the Union address said, America is the land of second chance, and when the gates of the prison open, the path ahead should lead to a better life. There are today two million people in prison and jails in the United States. Astronomical rate of growth. When I got out of prison 30 years ago, it was 239,000 people. That's like three times the size of the United States Marine Corps. I happen to spend several years in prison myself. If a person serves their time and then becomes a productive member of society, then how come they're not allowed to vote? I realized it was important to participate in the voting process when I was standing there in the courtroom and thought about the impact of the sentencing guidelines. You don't think of how these laws impact you until you're standing there. We've got record numbers of people who will be coming home this year. 600,000 people. That's over half a million people. You come home bitter, frustrated, and then they tell you, no, you can't vote. When we've got those kind of numbers, we need to fully engage those people in being good citizens. When the system disregards you, you have a tendency to disregard it and fight back. And it creates a divide. I still do not understand why we do not have the right to vote, especially people that have proven themselves in society. Society in its own enlightened self-interest ought to say, let's find a way to bring them back into the communities. I believe that I am living the typical American dream without the right to be able to participate in that dream. This is taxation without representation, one of the fundamental principles around which the revolution was fought. The utter damn goal to be fighting for democracy somewhere else and yet have your own backyard just in an awful state of affairs. Five million people aren't allowed to vote. And I think we must see this as an extension of the civil rights movement. I just think the American people have got to rise up and not be quiet and open up the political process and let all of our people come in.